folks, this is Gary Hudson of Folkstone Guitars. Thank you for tuning in to the Truth Guitar Channel. Hello again to all our subscribers. I apologize, it's been a while since I've made a video. I've had a very, very busy uh, summer and fall thus far. A lot of things have happened here. And um, not just with the business, but uh, I've had to make some changes um, in my life. And um, back on track and uh, thought I'd uh, make a video today on Taylor Guitars. I'm going to talk to you about Taylor Guitars. Uh, Taylor Guitars, uh, the acoustics are probably about my favorite um, acoustic guitars. I love the, the intonation. Um, I love the, uh, the necks on them. Uh, I like the wood, the craftsmanship. Um, I'm telling you, for for the money, you, you can't hardly beat Taylors. Uh, they are really great guitars, and just about any Taylor guitar is a great guitar that you can get, you know, new or used. Um, however, there is one fault that I have with them, and a lot of other people have had with them, and that is the pickup system. When uh, I started playing professionally here in uh, Tallahassee, I uh, had a Taylor 414, and um, I noticed that uh, plugged in a lot of my gigs, the pickups were quite noisy. I never was fully satisfied with the sound of the pickup, and my 414 was a 2003 model, and it had the same pickup system that this one has. This is a 512 CE cutaway electric. Uh, Taylor guitar and um, it's very similar to my 414 and um, the pickup system that's in it is a consists of a preamp uh, here which you can see inside the whole of the guitar with a volume treble and bass control uh, on the uh, left shoulder and a battery compartment uh, in the back that uh, this egg-shaped thing takes up uh, the area uh, largely where there would be an entire tail block normally on a guitar. And um, I love these guitars. I mean an ebony uh, fingerboard on most of them, an uh, ebony bridge. Uh, they're, they're, just, they're just tremendous. But these pickup systems, the preamp and then uh, the other components of it, let me just go over that right quick with you. Inside this model, uh, Taylor, this year, this particular year, and this is a, a 2008, it looks like, there are two top sensors uh, inside, and I'm going to show you those when I remove them. Uh, there's two top sensors, and then in addition to that, and this is where a lot of the noise comes from on an expression system where you get a lot of, um, I mean, it's almost like a single coil sound. And as a matter of fact, it is a, a single coil a hum that I got out of my 414. And when I went to remove the pickup system, I found out why. Uh, underneath the fingerboard here, the extension, fingerboard extension that goes over the body of the guitar, there is, in fact, a pickup in there. There is an electromagnetic uh, wound uh, electric guitar type single coil pickup with uh, poles and everything right under I had no idea until I took the neck off mine and discovered it and the necks on Taylor guitars unbolt uh, which I think is a tremendous thing there's bolts there's two bolts that are screwed into the neck here uh, this way and then there is an allen wrench uh, type of a bolt that uh, comes up this way and and bolts the fingerboard extension down and holds it securely so it's bolted on and when you remove the the neck of a tailor, if it has an expression system, well, if it, if it has this type of expression system, which is the only type that I've been familiar with, uh, I, knew, I do know that they've been changing it over the years, there is a pickup under here, and that's going to have to be extracted if we're going to change the pickup systems in these guitars. Now, I've done, I've done uh, uh, 512s, I've done uh, 914s, I've done 812s, uh, changing out the pickups, that is. And uh, normally what we have to do is we have to make another cover for this if we're getting a pickup that has a preamp in the tailpiece. Uh, if you don't have a preamp in the tailpiece, you don't have to change this out. But if you're going to go with a BAGS active element system, which is what I recommend for this guitar, or a BAGS uh, lyric mic, 
which also has the preamp uh, in the um, in the tailpiece then you're going to have to make something here to cover this and drill for a normal type of a uh, output jack, a regular half inch output jack for the back and so uh, we're going to do that with this and also you're going to have to do something about this because when this preamp is removed you have uh, holes here that have to be plugged so I have some wood here I'm going to be working with this is uh, uh, some rosewood that I've acquired. I'm not sure which piece yet I'm going to be using, but I'm going to be using something with the grain. Uh, cut it so that the grain's all going the same direction as the, as the siding. And I'm going to make this this cover that goes here because we got to drill for a regular output jack. And then I've got some plugs. They're like furniture plugs. I have some in cherry and I have some in uh, walnut. And these usually work very well for plugging the holes once you have removed the preamp and the covering the control pot holes that come through uh, the front of the guitar. Um, I don't want to be critical of Taylor guitars. I mean uh, these things are tremendous instruments. I just think that the pickup systems are a little bit to be desired personally. Um, maybe you like your expression system, that's fine. If you're happy with it, it works well for you and your rig, go for it you know don't go to all this trouble but uh, I find most people that have these want the expression system removed they find it to be noisy they find it to be a little bit artificial sounding and not true acoustic sounding so uh, that's all the criticism that you're going to hear that I'm gonna make of uh, Taylor guitars and it's just the expression system pickup is the only thing I really have a problem with but uh, other than that, uh, you know, you can uh, take a tailor, a really nice tailor like this, and go for another pickup system, and it's, it works fine. So uh, we're going to do that with this, and step by step, I'm going to uh, show you, well, the major steps that uh, I'm going to go through in uh, replacing the expression system in a tailor guitar. Okay, now I've got the... Um, pickup system expression system removed in entirety and I've removed the preamp out of the um, front shoulder and that's what it looks like it's a big board good uh, hefty size piece of equipment this is the the wiring and the tail block piece uh, it's held on by two uh, Phillips head screws and there is an actual string ground that um, sticks to the uh, bottom of the bridge plate inside under the top and for an obvious reason because if you're going to have an electromagnetic pickup you're going to have to ground the strings so uh, they've got the strings grounded with this and um, I thought there would be two top sensors in this one actually there was only one there happened to be two in uh, the 414s that I've I've dealt with but this one had just one and that's what it looks like uh, you can see that it's um, a coil now any place you've got a coil of wire like that uh, you have a, a potential for hum and noise so uh, it's no wonder that uh, that you've got a noise problem with uh, these pickups the other thing is the um, there's a little a little uh, pickup type thing that's that sticks there's some of the sticky right there that uh, is still on there from when I took it out of the inside it um, sticks inside the guitar sort of up over here up near the top and um, it's another type of a pickup and also as you can see it has a coil the electromagnetic pickup that is underneath the neck and now that I've got the neck removed and these were the uh, stud bolts holding it in uh, by the way these Taylor guitars uh, bolt together and and set very very nicely um, I have all the respect in the world for craftsmanship at for Taylor guitars this uh, pickup as you can see was underneath the fingerboard extension and uh, unfortunately to remove this 
uh, it, the wire has to be clipped. Now when you take this out, I don't know if you can you see I can show you this. When you take this out of the guitar, you can see that it has some regular old type uh, poles there, just like you would have an electromagnetic pickup. And unfortunately you have to clip the wire to extract this entirely from the guitar. The other wires all unplug. This one unplugs from the preamp as well, but um, you have to clip the wire to uh, get this out of there. So uh, knowing that uh, this would have to be done, and of course I told the, the uh, customer as well that I'd have to be clipping this wire, uh, he said go ahead and do it. So I got his okay on that. So we're going to go ahead and clip that wire and remove entirely the expression system. Um, preamp, um, battery compartment, uh, there's a little fuse type thing there on the battery compartment. Um, <laughs> good luck if that ever goes out. You'll have to get a Taylor Tech or somebody to replace that. Um, the um, top sensor here again. And uh, you know, I may not be using the right terminology for each of these components. I know that's a preamp. I know that's some type of a sensor. I know that's a coil. So uh, that might not be technically what Taylor, the factory, refers to that as, but for my purposes, that's what it is. Um, and uh, with the neck off the guitar, we can completely remove the expression system from a Taylor. And notice it's going to leave some holes there in the shoulder. And uh, as I said before, we're going to be patching those up. And uh, this nice big <laughs> gaping hole now in the tail block, we're going to have to do something with that. Something's going to have to be finished off and, and make, that look, make that look right. So uh, that's our goal. And I've got two of these guitars in. The pickup systems are the LR Bags Active Element. Um, you could have gone with an Anthem SL uh, dual system in this. You could have gone with a Bags uh, Lyric mic. And you could have gone with this system. And uh, this one is uh, the least expensive of the three and works just as well. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful sounding uh, preamp. It is a Class A preamp. And uh, it does take a 9 volt battery. We're going to mount the battery box in the guitar. And um, this is just a, uh, a, a great pickup for any acoustic guitar. It is a piezo. By the way, the Taylor um, had no piezo, even though it has a little hole. You see the little hole that was drilled there inside the uh, saddle slot for a piezo. And by the way, before Taylor was putting the expression system in their guitars, before they developed it, they were using, I think it was a Fishman system, um, and uh, personally I, I prefer that system in the older Taylors. I think it was around 2001 or 2002, I'm not sure that they went to the expression system, something like that, that they developed this system. And uh, they still have a piezo, a hole for, the, for, the, for a piezo under the saddle pickup here. And that's what the bag's um, active element is. It is a piezo. And so that's going to go underneath the saddle. We're going to have to um, take the saddle down a little bit to compensate for the piezo that's going in there. So um, uh, there is no piezo in the expression system, but the earlier tailors uh, had a piezo pickup. And they had a, I think it was a Fishman, and they had a preamp uh, in the side. The only other um, pickup system in Taylor's that uh, was available that I'm aware of was the Bags Hex Saddle pickup system, which was in the Doyle Dykes Taylor models. I, I encourage you, if you've never seen one, to Google or Google image the Doyle Dykes Taylor guitars when Mr. Doyle Dykes, a great uh, guitarist, was um, representing Taylor guitars. 
there was an LR Bags uh, set of six individual saddles that were actually mounted in the bridge uh, and intonated in all their proper points. And um, that system had a special bags preamp for those uh, six hex saddles. Unfortunately, bags doesn't make the hex saddle anymore. But that was a really great pickup system. In my 414, I've got the hex saddles without a preamp. And um, if you see my video over at stainlesssteelfrets.com, uh, my video on stainless steel frets, uh, you'll see my tailor and you'll see the hex saddles that I put in there. But um, suffice it to say that that pickup system that was in those Doyle Dykes tailors, man, what a great sounding system that was. And it did not take the, um, the expression system. The expression system is a, a completely, entirely new uh, thing. Now also, when you take the neck off of a Taylor guitar, um, let's see, inside here, you can see where, well, from the front, you can see where the neck bolts go through the neck block and hold the neck on and there is a decal a sticker that is a Taylor sticker that it doesn't have uh, uh, anything really of importance other than just being a way for them to uh, tell if uh, the neck's been off you know so um, this sticker sticks on the on the neck block up here and covers the two um, neck stud bolts and you need to to take that out or cut a little hole around them. In this sense I just cut a little hole around the uh, around the uh, the head of the screw in there and then I was able to just peel it the rest of the way out but uh, they peel off pretty easy and uh, sometimes you can heat them and get them off quicker but uh, that has to be removed so that when that's been removed, then Taylor can tell that the neck on that guitar has been taken off and thus voided the warranty or so forth, I guess. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, this is, um, this is what the neck looks like. Um, notice that for that pickup that um, I pulled out of here, looks like there's something else lodged in the uh, fingerboard extension underneath, in this block underneath, it looks like the the um, perhaps the pole piece that that goes with this. I'm not sure, but uh, it's uh, part of the pickup system and uh, appears to be. So uh, we're going to go ahead and and take that out, remove that little thing uh, also. So. Um, We'll be installing an entirely new pickup system in this guitar, and it's going to sound fantastic when we're done. Now, if you're wondering if this actually is an electromagnetic pickup, which normally consists of a coil of copper wire and magnets and pole pieces, I want you to notice that this thing is magnetic. See? Magnetic. That, my friend, is an electric guitar pickup in an acoustic guitar. Over here on this piece that I was showing you a little while ago, that's also magnetic. That's another pole piece right there for that pickup system. So it's no wonder that these pickup systems have a problem with uh, hum. With my 414, it was bad about picking up uh, neon signs uh, at my gigs. So um, I had to stop using that system and uh, go to a bags uh, system. So now we've got the task of putting a some type of a block in here so that we can put a normal type of an output jack. Uh, out the tail of the guitar, also of uh, putting something over these holes to cover these up, something that looks halfway decent. So what I've done is I've made a little block out of rosewood and finished it over and it's going to go in here 
This is the way I do these. I'm going to glue it. It's a tight fit. That's what you want. It's a nice tight fit there. So this is a piece I've made out of rosewood to cover the, uh, the hole that was in the Taylor guitar and I'm going to put an output jack on there and in the front I've done something different I've got some little furniture plugs like this and I've got them mounted on a piece of rosewood and they actually will glue from the inside like so you see that. So this is what's involved in removing the expressing uh, expression system and uh, taking care of the damage that's uh, left behind when you extract everything from the guitar. And uh, it's quite involved. I mean, the expression system is a is a very elaborate. Uh, very detailed type of a pickup system that really doesn't do as good as a normal good quality uh, bags piezo with a preamp um, at least in my opinion and the opinion of the owners of these two tailors I'm doing right now it doesn't do quite as good and I can show you the other one this is the um, this is the 512 CE and I've also got the 512 or 510 CE this one's a 510 CE and uh, so I've made two plates the one I just showed you I made for the the other guitar that I just I got both of these in at the same time so I just refer to this as guitar A uh, these two parts go to and this is guitar B and it, it, this one is a 510 CE and the plate for that also goes right over right over the hole and patches it up real nicely and the same for the plugs where the control pot holes are so I'm going to be putting these both of these guitars back together and um, continuing with the video. Okay, I've got this Taylor guitar back together again and um, it's looking really good. I plugged it in. It sounds great. Great sounding uh, pickup in there now with the bags active element system. This is what I have installed in this. These I recommend if you want to just go with a piezo. It has a preamp in the uh, tail block pushed off this is what it looks like now I've installed one in this and uh, finished it off and uh, now you can put a regular output jack in there this fits uh, flush uh, to the uh, siding and um, in the front I've covered up the the control pot uh, holes that were there with my plugs and um, so it uh, works great now. I'll plug it in for you and let you hear, hear it a little bit. Running into my trusty um, Acoustasonic amp. There's a little volume uh, on the sound hole. There's a little thumb wheel volume there. And you can go up and down with it. Yeah, it sounds great.
how to fix an expression system in a tailor you remove it in entirety and you put a good bags acoustic guitar preamp and pick up in there you could have put a an anthem SL in here we could have put a bags lyric mic in here it would have sounded great either way but uh, we've got the the active element in here and uh, I'm sure the customer is going to love the improvement in the tone of this guitar plugged in. And now for the Taylor 510, um, the other Taylor I was um, swapping out the uh, expression system on. This is the um, this is the plate I made for that. Looks just like the other one. They both came out nice. Now you can see the plugs went in and the shoulder there and uh, sounds great got a thumb wheel here volume So there you go. So you can get your tailor uh, fixed up with bags, uh, bags pickups. If it's got an expression system in it, you have to do this uh, modification. You have to do something over that block, and this is my solution. Uh, maybe someone else can come up with a different solution, a better solution. That's fine. But this is the way I've been doing them now for several years, and I've done uh, 914s this way. I've done several. Uh, four 14s and some 512s. So this is a 512 and this is a 510. So we got a 512 and a 510 uh, we've just done here. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope uh, that you learned some things. And uh, if you want to check us out at folkstoneguitars.com, uh, you can see the website and also stainlesssteelfrets.com. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.